Hi, what is your name? Tina. Do you like tablets, Tina? I do. Do you currently own or have owned a tablet? I do. I own the iPad mini. And how often do you use your iPad mini? I use it every day, almost. How important is it in your day-to-day -day life? It's not... It's not that it's not a priority, but I do use it every day for like little miscellaneous activities and to carry my work around with me. Um, what were the most important features to you when you decided to buy the iPad Mini? Well, it, first of all, it, it was a gift. I'm not a big Apple fan, but when I did get it, I did find it very useful in um, in opening uh, documents uh, from work, emailing, um, doing my inventory. And then after that comes all the little stuff like Netflixing, YouTubing, mm -hmm. online shopping and stuff. Very convenient. Are there any things you don't like about your tablet today? The volume. I wish the volume was a little bit louder. Uh, I can watch my videos. I can hear everything. Experts say that in the future, tablets will be foldable or bendable. Do you think that this is possible? It's probably possible, but not ideal for a lot of tablet users. Just so, you, just because you won't get like the full screen and you know there'll be like seams everywhere and you know the point of a tablet is to be one whole piece, right? Not to be foldable and compact. Otherwise, they would just make up a smaller screen, right? What do you think tablets will look like in 2025? Um, maybe a little bit smaller, thinner, um, with some holographic features, maybe. Might even be like just a push of a button, just like you know, a little air screen that you can cook things on. Any recommendations you can make to someone about to buy a tablet? Buy a case. Just in case you drop it, buy a case and uh, um, get an extra charger so you don't lose it as well. <laughs> All right, thank you, Tina.